Hi everyone, today let's learn about echolocation and sonar! Hi, my name is Brittany Whaley. And I'm Nate Chu, and we work at NYWIC Pacific. We are a Navy lab based out of San Diego that brings the power of information to the fight through engineering, research, and delivery of capabilities. Here at our Hawaii office, we work side by side with the warfighters to provide innovative technical solutions. Come along with us as we learn about echolocation and sonar. Animals like dolphins use echolocation to locate and identify objects. They emit calls out to the environment and listen for the echoes that reflect off various things near them. Echolocation is used for navigation, foraging, and hunting in various environments. Sonar is essentially the same thing as echolocation. The word sonar is actually an acronym that stands for sound, navigation, and ranging. It is a technique that uses sound propagation, usually underwater, to navigate, communicate with, or detect objects on or under the surface of the water. The Navy uses sonar to help operate in the ocean, and NIWIC Pacific sometimes uses sonar on unmanned underwater vehicles to perform various tasks. These underwater vehicles have sensors that try to mimic the echolocation abilities dolphins have. And now, with a few household objects, we can easily see these sonar capabilities. First off, you'll need a smartphone and the free FeeFox app, which is available on both Apple and Android phones. Also, you'll need some foam, couch cushions, or a box with towels over it just to dampen the sound. And then we'll need something to reflect that sound. And so we can use a baking sheet or any kind of hard, flat surface you can find in your house. And then we'll also use some measuring tape just so that we can verify our results. But if you don't have a measuring tape, you can also use a ruler and just mark out certain distances and that can work just as well. To start, open the VFOX app, scroll down to sonar, and at the top click echolocation. And then press play. And the chirping is what is used to detect the reflector. And so now we'll put our smartphone into our foam dampening box to block out any sound that's coming um, omnidirectional from this phone. And so we'll focus on the sound coming through one direction. And then we'll place our tape measure out so that we can see at what distance our reflector is at. Here, the reflector is at one meter, and as you can see, the spike is also at one meter or a hundred centimeters. And so now, if we pull back our reflector to two meters, we should see the change of on the graph. It's at two hundred centimeters now. And so now that you all know how to use sonar capabilities, you can try out yourself different types of sizes, materials, or orientations of these reflectors to see what works best. Also, we can use different damping materials such as towels to help reduce noise. Because here at NIWIC Pack, we investigate different types of sensors and technologies to better the Navy. Thanks for stopping by.